While building 20-stage solid rocket booster monstrosities and the like can be quite entertaining, eventually the boundless creativity really gets boring for me personally. To keep this game fresh for myself, I've decided to run a space program as far as I can on a budget, and I'm taking you along with me. This, my friends, is my Kerbal career. First, some ground rules. One, I will be starting with a budget of 50,000 Kerbucks. Two, part prices are according to the in-game text. Three, every launch is deducted from my funds at liftoff. Four, payment for mission completion is given the moment the objective is met. And most importantly, five, no refunds at all. Okay, boys, our first contract has just come in. KTV wants a commsat in orbit pronto, and they're willing to pay 35 kilobucks to get it there. Our job is to build a vehicle that can launch to low orbit, deposit a payload, and bring our pilot home safely, all for under 35,000 kerbucks. Let's get to work. And here's what we've got. 4,800 liters of fuel in a lower stage, one satellite, and an need pity return stage. Will it work? I hope so, because there are no refunds. Let's find out. Ah, here we are. You will note that there is no advanced SAS, because I looked and that is expensive. So, we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Main SAS on, throttle up, and launch before we fall apart. Oh, there we go. We tilting, tilting, tilting. That's better. I'm glad these are gimbaled engines, because if they weren't, I'd have problems. Oh, ding, ding, ding. Keep your eye on the ball. Oy. Ship seems to want to start the gravity turn a bit early. Might as well get, get on with it. Five kilometers at about 800 meters per second. This might actually work. Uh, what's our apoapsis right now? 57. Eh, might not work. Keep that nose up. Oh. I've actually never really been this stressed during a launch because right now I know that this may very well ruin me if it doesn't work out. This is really tense. 90, uh, I kind of want to cut it now, and, uh, main engine cut off. And I will join you at Apoapsis, where we see if this will work. Alright, we are nearing the Apoapsis, and we're about to perform our orbital insertion. Well, maybe. We'll find out. And... There we oh no like steering an elephant like steering a drunk elephant get on that ninety bingo and engines up oop oop keep it keep it yes 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 oh what do we got mm. well the client was not very specific about what kind of orbit so I'll just burn as much as I can. And that's an orbit, ladies and gentlemen. That is an ugly orbit. Tell you what, I'm just gonna even this out because God damn it, I have standards. We're brown to apoapsis. Okay, we are approaching our apoapsis of 194 kilometers. I'm gonna try and get within, oh, 10 kilometers on the other side. They're Kerbals, they're not too picky. And cutting a bit close there, let's make the maneuver. Oh shoot, might have botched this up. Mm, spin faster machine. And, eh. oh, 
right on time. Excellent. Let's see. Oh, and there's periaptive switch. 194065 and 24. Ah, okay. Flip it around. Mm. Seven and cut one nine six two eight one one nine oh one five one about six kilometers variance. I'll call that acceptable. All right, and we should now detect that stage. I'm not too happy about having an extra fuel tank left over. Waste of money, folks. Waste of money. Got to think differently in this game now. Every penny counts. And let's let that satellite go free. Wait, have we? No, we haven't. Ah, I think it's stuck. Come on. Oh, staging. There we go. Oop. And let's see. Where should we deorbit into? Eh. Let's try and hit the coast off Kerbal Space Center. Right in there-ish, if I know my geography. And I don't. So let's make the deorbit burn. Oh, whoa, oh, this is this is so nice now with just the one little stage. I can maneuver. The trick is to stop maneuvering though. Alright, now let's Oh Roll the skates, roll the skates, burn, try and start the engines. There we go. And that looks right. I will find out, I guess. Uh, SAS off. Engines off confirmed. And stage. And open the parachute, and I will join you at re-entry. And we just did hit the atmosphere. 65 kilometers and falling. Let's get into something kind of resembling an attitude. Oh dear. Yeah. Fine controls on. Oh, fine controls are not fine enough. Eh. I'm sure it'll figure itself out once it. It's the atmosphere. Let's fast forward a bit because the first 20 kilometers are always kind of dull. 30 kilometers. And starting to get some serious atmosphere now. Ah, yes. Starting to get some kind of pointed right wayness. At the parachute. Ugh. I'm glad I'm not in that castle. That looks really uncomfortable. Why am I paying these guys anyways? Should I be deducting some sort of payroll? Nah. Oh, and I will not be landing in the ocean off the coast of our launch site. I will, in fact, be landing in the mountains to the west. I meant to do that. No, really. I did. I've never actually seen these mountains up close. They're... Is that snow? Is that a desert on top of that one? Parachute fully deployed now. And these last three kilometers always take forever, so let's fast forward a bit more. Luckily, Jebediah loves the mountains. He's an avid hiker, uh, part mountain goat, actually. Uh, mountain goat on his mother's side, I do believe. So, oof, and run over by his capsule. Don't worry, they're made of rubber. And we are home, and our satellite is safely in orbit, and we've made another 40,000 credits. 
with a 25,000 credit launch vehicle, that is a reasonable profit. I think this might be doable. Let me know if you like this, because I don't know if I like this myself. That sounded silly. Oh well.